what's up guys you welcome to my youtube channel and i know it's been a long time since you saw um, a video from me and i'm happy to say that i'm back i was so touched to get a lot of messages from people asking when my next video would be up and there were lots of things that i had to handle in my life it's not anything serious yeah but yeah <laughs> yeah you know i just wanted to focus on certain aspects of my life and i'm happy to say that i'm back again and in today's video i want to share an important thing that i get lots of questions on people reach out to me and say hillary how can i improve my academic performance in the university i always have things to say and it's something that if you leave me i could go on and on and on and on and on about and in this video i just want to share some of the things that i think help one become a top student and so let's get right into the video <music> the first thing that i want everyone to know is that a lot of people automatically assume that they are not smart or that they are not intelligent and it's and it's a wrong thinking if if i should put it that way of course everyone's brain works differently but i'm going to use a football analogy everybody says that Lionel messi has talent he's naturally good and everybody says that ronaldo is not really you know naturally good which i don't really support but they say that but one thing about ronaldo is that he works hard and so he becomes the, the best as well and so one thing that i just want to say is that of course your brain can function differently and you might be slower to get things but if you put in a lot of efforts you can actually you so the key thing is that you should know who you are if you are someone who takes long to accumulate stuff you should know that okay then that means that i need to double or triple my effort when you do that you realize that sometimes there are instances where hard work beats talent so i can say that ronaldo is better than messi because he works hard then the next thing that i want to say is that in the university every day day in day out you are getting new information from your lecturers new information you go you take it you take it in and then the next time you forget because when you went back you didn't revise and then revising is so important because when you don't revise you accumulate stuff and then during the exam week that is when we put a lot of pressure on ourselves and then our national anthem is that i learn best under pressure i learn best of course you can do that but you realize that whenever as and when lectures are going on and you revise you try to make sure that you are getting the concepts you realize that you can't be able to make the most of the exam revision period because in that time it's just for revision that was like a philosophy that i used i make sure that i'm not behind every lecture so i go to class what happens is that you make good use of the in-between times that you have for class so you realize that maybe time from one lecture to another one maybe it's like one hour or two hours or three hours or more you realize you have some time but then sometimes we we feel like oh let me go back to my hostel you go there you go and eat sometimes maybe you even nap napping is very important but you should be able to at least try if you have a lecture or maybe like you have a class coming on you should be able to at least use a little of that time to revise what you did in the previous topic because one thing about university life is that you don't know when the lecturer is going to pop up a quiz and you always want to make sure that you are ready you should also be a good note taker sometimes i even just write notes just to make sure that i'm staying in the class because i used to have the tendency to zone out in class but writing notes it kind of keeps me in check i'm trying to you know make sure that i'm getting every little detail that the doc the lecturer says a doctor <laughs> the lecturer says okay it's not going to work for everyone but at least just make sure that you are present in class and then you are actually taking in whatever the lecturer is saying next thing is that please ask questions please ask questions sometimes i'm currently a teaching assistant and then i go to class a lecture is going on you can tell that the lecturer is so interested in people or the students understanding what is going on but then the students i just it's like osro osro angasa omano sikakraze on onjina onkasa kra onge god i can't believe i'm exposing myself my chi isn't the best but my point is that a lot of times like we are just scared if 
a lecturer teaches something and you don't understand you should be able to let him know that oh sir please i didn't really get what you said can you repeat what you said or can you explain it further for me and then they'll be more than willing to explain i always tell people this that whenever you want something or you're working toward a goal achieving that goal is the most important thing so whatever you have to do to get that so if you don't understand something whatever you have to do to get that explanation you should do it if it even means that um i don't want to use this but if it even means embarrassing yourself maybe you feel you personally feel like if you ask a question in class it's embarrassing embarrass yourself and make sure that at the end of the day you get whatever you want when you have the understanding you can use the understanding and make sure that you do better in the course if you even feel like you are a bad note taker you identify the good note takers in your class and then all the time you can ask them to maybe take a picture of their notes for you so, so you can read it it really works next thing is that you should study anywhere and everywhere i was very conscious of my the, like the small times that i had because there was a time where i had a lot of responsibilities and it wasn't really affording me the time to sit down and maybe to study and so what i did was that i had all my lecture notes on my phone and then maybe when i'm in the shuttle and i'm going to my class i'm just reading my my lecture notes maybe when i'm at the bank waiting maybe to be served i just read through my notes my little little times i don't joke with my little times if i'm sitting in a car i just make sure that maybe i'm reading my notes if i'm waiting for someone you just read your notes because those little times are very important especially let's say you don't really get time to study at least it helps you refresh your mind so long as it's comfortable so maybe if it's too noisy you should be able to also determine what you can study at which times so if i find that i'm doing something that is very burdensome or maybe something that wouldn't afford me the opportunity to learn something so complicated maybe i'm learning something about differential calculus which involves a lot of calculations and it's quite complex i wouldn't do that when i'm going i'm sitting in the shuttle going to class of course it's not going to work so i take more friendly courses courses that maybe have reading content i just try and read them so maybe management or something a course that is simple or easy to accumulate in a short time next thing that i i would encourage everyone to do is to go the extra mile so say you go to class and a lecturer teaches something on this particular topic and you realize that this topic you don't really get it you can't grasp the concept so what you do is that you note it down you have points of contact okay so the first thing that you should do is when you go back you go on youtube youtube is every top student's best friend you go on youtube you search the content and then you actually try and understand it when you try and understand it on your own then now you try and see if you feel like you still don't get it you try and see a friend a friend who you think understands is trying to maybe have a session with that friend when that friend still explains to you and you don't understand it then you see the courses teaching assistant making good use of your teaching assistant is very important what i do is that i make sure that i'm i'm known by the teaching assistant so if it means that after my maybe my first class i just go and introduce myself hi i'm hillary i just take your number and then maybe from time to time i just try and establish a little connection with you such that when i need anything you will be able to provide it to me please don't be shy to approach people we don't bite teaching assistants don't bite some of them are really friendly and one very pleasant encounter i had with one of them was that i was taking a course in my third year numerical analysis and that course was just giving me severe beatings left right center backward i'll go to class and i'm just i don't understand what's going on and i just approached one of the teaching assistants he wasn't even taking that course he was taking a different course and i approached him i told him about the challenge that i was facing and you will not believe it he actually took time to learn the course and then taught me and I made a great and a strong 60 in that course <laughs> I know for someone like me 
rejoicing over a 60 oh god is make use of your teaching assistants reach out to them for someone like me when a student reaches out to me over a subject and even if it's not what i teach i try and make provision if i know someone who, te who teaches it i would connect you to that person I've, i might connect you to a student i think maybe is doing that course and does very well the next thing is also reaching out to your lecturers it's so important make sure that your lecturers know you some people will call it a hunch but in this university life it's important to let your lecturers know you okay please make sure that you see them some of them can really impact your life some of them can really help you my life has been blessed by my lecturers right now that lectures have begun you should try and make sure that you've gone to see your lecturers sometimes you just ask them so what do you think i can do to maybe improve my academic performance or maybe get very good grades in this course or you just sometimes you just pass by oh say hello i'm hillary i'm from telecom one i just wanted to say hello i i was passing there and i just wanted to say hello please have a nice day and then you just go i wouldn't want to leave out the fact that you should have a steady group okay some people feel like oh i'm not really a steady group kind of person and that's completely fine it's very fine but then please having a steady group is important there were times where i couldn't I couldn't I just couldn't learn I couldn't I go to class and then I don't even know I'm not in the class but those times I'm someone that I, I do both things I learn a lot on my own and then I also go for group study there were times when my personal efforts wasn't really working and my group study really really helped me and so please just find maybe one or two people that you think oh they should share a common goal with you improving their academic performance and there should be people that you find easy to work with for my city group we had lots of fun we like to interact we can be learning and we can just drift to talk about life you know life just learning or picking up lessons from one thing or the other but most importantly we had our goal in mind so if we are to learn a b c we will talk about q f g a but then we'll still make sure that a b and c is not left out try and you know tap in and then combine forces with some of your friends like-minded people i would say i've shared a lot of things and if you even pick maybe two or even three out of them they can really really help you try and utilize your weekends as well if you didn't understand anything during the week use the weekends to catch up the last thing that i want to end with is the importance of being a balanced human being you can be doing very well in your academic life and then your maybe your social life is haywire it's it's also something that maybe can even indirectly affect your academic performance because you you are worried about the fact that you don't have friends but if you are a balanced human being balanced because you make adequate time to study and then also you make ample time to mingle with your friends you realize that your overall mental health is very good you are balanced work time is work time play time is play time i couldn't say everything that i wanted to say but i hope that you would be able to really grasp lots of things from the things i've shared i would really like to have feedback from some of you like all students in all years if you were able to pick certain things from whatever i said and then share with your friends as well just so that people can see or people can learn how to become a top student some of the things that i did that really helped me please comment like share if this video helped you put a comment down there and if there's anything i said that you maybe you might want me to elaborate further please also put it in the comment section and i'll make sure to look at it if there are certain things that you would also want me to post content on also please don't hesitate to comment so thank you so much for watching me and i hope you watched to the end thank you thank you i love you and i'll see you in my next video bye